going on guys? It's Crazy Dog here and in today's video we're gonna start with a little bit of a story time and then end with why I think you guys should pick up one of these guys here and the curiosity around why nobody's talking about it. So to get along with the story time first, my main PC, as you can see, is behind me. And last week or two weeks ago, I had a video that needed to go out by the end of the month for an advertiser. And for some reason, my computer just would not go past post. The VGA light was on on the motherboard. I couldn't figure it out. I had to take out the GPU, take out the CMOS battery, reseat the RAM. And it all turned out to be an issue with either the generic Windows drivers or maybe an update by NVIDIA. But either way, I was left in an absolute mad scramble because I had a video that needed to go out by the end of the month and it was trapped on my computer. What exactly is the video you ask? Well, it's going to be right in this video as well. Stay tuned for a word from our sponsor. If you guys are looking for an affordable Windows 10 key, then you need to do yourselves a favor and check out VIPSCDKey.com. Using the link within the description below, as well as the coupon code GG20, you will have yourselves a brand new Microsoft Windows 10 Pro OEM CD key for as little as $15.82. What are you waiting for? Use that link within the video description and thank you VIPSCDKey for sponsoring today's video. So now that we're done paying the bills, again, let's go ahead and let's talk about this guy right here. It would help if I showed you the front of it. So this is the ADATA SE800 external SSD. And my thoughts around getting something like this was to start editing all my video off of an SSD, all of my assets, all of my everything, that way, if I do have lingering concerns with my PC behind me, I can switch over to my laptop and really never miss another future deadline. And this I've tested, I've used, I've boxed it up again for the purpose of opening it for you guys. And this is absolutely phenomenal. When I was shopping for an SSD or an external SSD specifically, I was gravitating more so towards the industry leaders or the ones that people know about that would be the samsung t5 the samsung t7 the sandisk but i came across this and this just checked all the boxes for me and the cost was fantastic i'm gonna link it in the video description below but when i actually bought this guy it was like 88 dollars canadian for an external ssd with an increment or a storage of 512 gigabytes and when we open this up, which I'm going to do right now, I was also shocked to see that everything is included from the manufacturer. And that's something that I find a lot of brands don't do that often or at least do that well. So before we look at the SSD, let's take a look at the two cables that you get. So here, if this will focus, boom. So this is a double-ended USB-C. And the purpose of this is of course to interface with either like a Thunderbolt or a USB 3.2 Gen 2 USB-C port. And this is gonna unlock the full capabilities and the maximum potential out of this SSD. But if you have older hardware or you want to flip-flop between new gen and last gen, we have something like this guy here. And this is a USB-C to USB-A 3.0. And this is still going to give you really, really good transfer speeds. And I don't think it's gonna come up on camera because it's really hard to focus, but there's like a little locking nubby like right here. And I find that so awesome. It just locks right in the USB port super well. Uh, Shining Star here is, flip this around, this guy here. So this is the ADATA SE800, and this comes in increments of both 512, which I have here, as well as one terabyte. Now, a couple of really cool things about this and why I ended up picking it. One, it's like so tiny. Like, look at that. That is crazy small. Maybe if I put it in the palm of my hand, 
It's like no bigger than the inside of my hand and I kind of have little girly hands. Uh, but the other thing that's really cool about it, other than the size, is this is IP68 certified. So this is dust and water resistant for I think up to 30 minutes in uh, three meters of fresh water. So if you're going on client sites and different things like that, or if you're just looking to save some stuff, even aside from video production, if you wanted to take files with you, this is gonna be kind of rain resistant or rain proof. If by chance you happen to have it in your pocket and fall in a pool, it should be okay. And then just snapping off the little grommet here is going to show you the USB three port. So that is uh, 3.1, 3.2 gen two, so our USB-C. So that standard is capable of 20 gigabits per second. This drive, this is, what I assume is maybe even an NVMe inside. Uh, this is capable through some speed tests that I ran at past gigabit speed. So like a thousand megabits per second, which is absolutely crazy when paired with the proper USB and this cable right here. Now, my laptop has USB-C, which is perfect. And it tests at full speed, which is fantastic. I'll put some results up on screen now. I ran a, a crystal mark in both the one gigabyte and eight gigabyte file transfer, and those results should be on screen now. But then I also wanted to see exactly how fast it would run with this guy here. So this is again, the USB-C to USB-A, and this is for individuals who might have slightly older hardware or maybe more budget oriented hardware. And I'm still pulling numbers above 400 megabits per second, which is on par with the SATA 3 SSD that I have in my PC that I used to edit from. So I know that at worst case, I'm going to edit as fast as I did before, if not potentially faster, if I just migrate over to my laptop, which is hugely fantastic news. This will also allow me to throw some games on here as well. And then when I start getting more PCs into the studio, I won't have to reinstall all of my assets. I can just run them off the external drive and just go ahead and do my benchmarks. But I think something like this is very important, not only to back up your utilities or your files, but in a use case like me as a creator, it's nice to have like, external redundant storage and something like this with all of its certifications being uh, dust and water sealed and also because it's like hard plastic and weighs like next to nothing it's pretty darn drop resistant as well there's no moving components in an ssd so i don't have to it's a piece of dust flying around i don't have to worry about dropping this and losing files or breaking a platter or having it come off kilter this will just back up and maintain everything for really theoretically as long as i need it now i have actually edited a video off of this and the external casing does get warm it's not uncomfortably warm which is fantastic i think it's totally usable and from what I noticed, at least when I was editing on it and rendering off it, by the way, this video as well is all done off of this SSD. Um, I didn't notice like any throttling or any slowdown. So this guy here was an absolute trooper. And realistically, this is pulling speeds on par, if not better than some of the more widely known names, like again, your Samsung T5, the new T7, and a couple of other ones. It's punching above what they can do speed wise and it's actually coming below cost and i've enjoyed the experience that i've had with a data in the past i have some xpg ram in my pc and i also have an a data xpg nvme it's a one terabyte that's in my pc and they've never really caused me any issues um, if we take a look at the packaging just one last time on the back of this it does have a free piece of software if for some reason you do want to migrate your OS over to this guy as well. And then over here, nope, over here, uh, it is saying that it's PS5 and Xbox Series X or Series S compatible. Both of those have high speed USB ports, so maybe this would help maybe load some games. You can't load PS5 games off of an SSD. You can only use the back catalog of like PS4 titles. And honestly, I find they're so well optimized on the next gen console. I'm using 
an old 5400 RPM drive, uh, like a like a laptop drive in an external enclosure. I was playing Last of Us 2. I don't think that I would spend a hundred bucks on something like this to maybe save like an extra three seconds. Like that doesn't bother me that much. But if you guys wanted to try this, it is compatible. It is, I don't know, certified in a sense. And then you've got all of your cables. My only gripe or some of the gripes that I've seen online about this are people are complaining that the cables are short. And I get that if by chance you're plugging into a laptop, especially if you have to get to the back of the IO to maybe use one of the USB-C ports on your motherboard. But on a laptop, I don't want lots of cables. And I think where this is so portable, that's kind of the aim of the game and what they were thinking about is portability. So having a small cable means you're just less likely to snag the cable to have it like fall off the table and disconnect. The short cable runs, I mean, I'm, I'm totally fine with. Um, so yeah. I just wanted to shed some light on the SE800 because I think this thing is like absolutely fantastic. It's small, it's durable, it's portable, it's fast. Like that's the biggest thing. Like this is crazy fast. And I'm curious why nobody is talking about this. Maybe the Samsung offerings or the SanDisk offerings are just maybe more popular. I don't know. But if you guys want a really good rock solid experience for well under the cost of kind of the popular guys, if you will, then take a look in the video description below. I will have a link to this with up-to-date pricing and availability. And I do recommend that you guys check it out because in the last like four days of testing, I'm super, super impressed with this guy. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video, guys. If you liked it, let me know. If you disliked it, there's a button for that too. I check all of the ratings, all of the comments, and uh, I love to interact with you guys. So until the next video, my name is Quizzy Dog. You guys have been awesome, and we'll catch you all in the next one. Take care.